Hi all. Today we are discussing about steric effect, which is the last one in the series of electron displacement effects. Okay. The term steric, steric effect refers to the influence of the spatial configuration of molecules about upon their stability, properties, and rates of reactions, which means that we, there will be a functional group, and if the area around the functional group of the molecule is crowded with other bulkier groups, there will be slight difference in their expected their stability, properties, and rates of reactions. This is what meant by steric hindrance, which means that there will be a crowding due to the bulk due to the presence of bulkier groups around the functional group with which we are interested. Okay, so let's be, see the applications so that we can understand this concept very well. The first application is to understand the stability of cis-2-butene and trans-2-butene. Okay, we know that cis means the both the groups will be on the same side of the double bond. Here we can see that the bulkier methyl groups are nearer to each other in the case of cis butene and the case of trans 2 butene the bulkier groups are opposite to each other so that there is no much interaction of the bulkier groups okay which means that in the trans 2 butene steric hindrance is less okay in the trans 2 butene steric strain is less whereas in the case of cis butene the steric strain is greater therefore the stability will be greater in the case of trans 2 butene because there is less steric crowding is there and stability will be lesser for cis 2 butene because in the cis position the bulkier groups are together or they are closer to each other and therefore steric hindrance increases and therefore stability decreases. The important application is to predict the basicity of amines. Okay, first let's see the order of basicity of alkyl amines. We are comparing first one, amines means the derivatives of ammonia. So, NH3 is ammonia, RNH2 is alkyl amine, R2NH is dialkyl amine and R3N is the trialkyl amine. Now, we have to compare the basicity of these four. Ammonia will be least basic because in the other alkyl amines there are alkyl number of, there are more number of alkyl groups and therefore plus i inductive effect increases and let me remind you about the basicity part okay there are in the case of ammonia there are three hydrogen atoms there is no effect at all in the case of alkyl amine there will be an alkyl group and there are two hydrogen atoms so we know that alkyl group exerts a plus i effect and since the plus, plus I effect means it will give away its electron density towards nitrogen and as a result the electron density on nitrogen increases. Okay, a base becomes a very good base when the electron availability on nitrogen increases. So, alkyl amines are better bases than ammonia because of the presence of the alkyl groups. Okay, that's understood. And now let's see, we are expecting the order of tertiary, secondary, primary. Tertiary means this is the tertiary amine because nitrogen is connected with three alkyl groups and this is the secondary amine in which nitrogen is connected to two alkyl groups and this is the primary amine in which nitrogen is connected to only one alkyl group. Okay, so the expected order is tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary which is based on the number of alkyl groups because in the primary there is only one alkyl group in the secondary there are two alkyl groups and so therefore two plus i effect operates and in the case of tertiary amine, there are three alkyl groups and three plus I effect operates. Okay. So, as a result, electron density on the nitrogen atom increases and it will act as a base, a very good base. This is what we expect. And it is true for vapor phase. Okay. If you are checking the basicity of alkyl amines in vapor phase, this trend is true. And in non-aqueous media also, this trend is applied. Okay. This trend holds good. But actually, in the aqueous solution, normally we will be recording or we will be checking the basic so basicity in aqueous solutions. In those aqueous solutions, you can see that tertiary has changed its position from first to last. Okay, 
the position of tertiary is replaced or displaced and here the actual order is secondary primary and then comes tertiary now let's see what is the reason behind that okay this is the order which was shown in the previous slide secondary then comes primary and then comes tertiary okay this is due to the unexpected lower basicity of this tertiary amine is due to the steric effect of the three methyl groups okay of the three methyl groups present let's see here is the nitrogen here is the lone pair actually there is ele the electron density is higher because of the presence of three alkyl groups it has got a higher electron density but it is not available for protonation because for a proton to come for example if you are checking it in aqueous solution there will be h plus and oh minus ions this oh this h plus has to approach from here to this site for the protonation to occur but unfortunately this is not so easy because of the hindrance of the bulkier alkyl groups present around the nitrogen atom okay so the lone pair is not able to be donated as easily as in the case of secondary and primary al primary alkyl amines hope it is understood hope it is clear for you people and second thing is that it not only hinders the approach of the protons but also it hinders the stabilization of the resulting ion through solvation because after the after the addition or after protonation the resultant ion would be like this ch3 three times n h plus and it is stabilized by oh minus and from water and this oh minus also has to come close to this species to make it stabilized but this the presence of this oh minus is also hindered by the presence of the bulkier three methyl groups present near nitrogen atom okay as the combined effect of these two the stability or the basicity of this tertiary amine is comes and the last okay and let's see the order of basicity of aryl amines i have taken aniline n methyl aniline and n dimethyl aniline and based on inductive effect plus i effect of the plus i effect of this alkyl groups this order is true right this is the most basic this is the most basic and this is the least basic okay not only based on this inductive effect we can explain this based on the steric effect also because the in the case of aniline the electron delocalization is smooth okay and therefore the electron pair is not available for protonation here okay that we have discussed in the case of resonance effect and in the case of methyl aniline there is a small hindrance of the electrons to be displaced here because of the presence of this bulkier group and in the case of n and dimethyl aniline there are two bulkier groups which are actually not planar like this they are oriented tetrahedrally and it really causes a hindrance for this lone pair to go here and to be delocalized into the ring as a result the lone pair is not actually going into the ring it will be residing on the nitrogen atom itself which which makes it more available for protonation okay so the combined effect of this inductive effect plus i effect of this alkyl group and this steric effect makes n and dimethyl aniline more basic than n methyl aniline and which is in turn more basic than aniline now we have to see what happens to n and dma and if we are if we insert two other groups okay here this is n and dimethyl aniline n ch3 ch3 and this is n and 26 derivative of n and dimethyl aniline see there are two methyl groups and here also again there are two methyl groups i am putting h h h c h h h and here it's not c this is nitrogen okay this is nitrogen here is also there are okay this is the picture this is nndma and this is 26 dimethyl derivative of nn dimethyl aniline now let's see the lone pairs here is a lone pair and the lone pair on nitrogen is here okay so 
this for this lone pair to to be dispersed to the ring these two alkyl groups are causing some restrictions okay and here this restriction is all the more greater because of the presence of the, the two methyl groups which are present at ortho positions so this is not at all able to come to the ring okay so as a result this 2,6 dimethyl n and di 2,6 dimethyl derivative of n and dimethyl anilin is more basic when compared to n and dimethyl anilin. Okay, so as we are increasing the bulkiness around the nitrogen atom, basicity increases in the case of aryl amines because the lone pair on nitrogen is not able to be dispersed into the ring. Okay, if the lone pair is dispersed into the ring, we have to lone pair the ring to disperse the ring. Basicity is correct because the lone pair is not there. Electron density is shifted towards the ring. But as we are introducing more number of bulkier groups around nitrogen atom, the lone pair is not able to be dispersed into the ring, which makes it more basic, more and more basic. Okay, if we attach ethyl groups instead of this methyl groups on the two ortho positions, that will be all the more basic. Okay, hope you have got the concept. Now, let's see the third one and the last example of the steric hindrance in esterification of acids. Here, this, this part has to be esterified. Okay, alcohol has to attach over here. But here, there, there is a methyl group at ortho position, which is at very much close proximity. So, no esterification is taking place due to steric hindrance. Here, there is the chain length is increased. There is another carbon atom. So, this proximity of this CH3 and COH groups are not so greater as in the case of the first case. So, here esterification takes place readily. Let's see another esterification, another example for esterification. Here, this is, is benzoic acid that is esterified with an ethanol to give, to give you ethyl benzoate. But here, in the case of two, here what I have done is I have connected three bulkier alkyl groups. Okay. In the benzene ring. Here as a result this bulkiness around the COH functional group increases. So this ethanol is not able to reach over there and do the esterification part. So the reaction doesn't take place. Okay this is all about steric effect. I have explained what is terrific steric effect and we have seen the applications in the case of alkenes and then basicity of amines and steric hindrance in the case of esterification of acids. Okay, hope it is clear for you. Thanks for watching.